Right, but here's a different side to this story. A new report shows South Africans who leave the country often change their minds and come back. Let's find out why. I'm joined by Angel Jones from Homecoming Revolution, an African headhunting firm who released the Homecoming Trends Report for 2019. Angel, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So we're hearing from some experts that people are actually leaving. Your survey and report is showing that they're coming back as well. Absolutely. We look at the trends mostly. It was done with a sample of 2,000 South Africans abroad. The key reasons people are leaving, number one is career. The second is a sense of economic stability. And the third is for improved lifestyle. Mostly they have um, financial um, services people, 21% abroad, technology people, 20% of them, healthcare, advisory, consumer, engineering. A lot of professionals are abroad. But the good news is that 34% of them want to return home and 22% are undecided. Yeah. And we know that the pull factors apart from friends and family and sense of belonging and making a difference really can be in the kind of work that employers can show them. Yeah. So is it because they're homesick as well? Is it because they have uh, more hope in our current administration to uh, make things better in the country or not? The real thing is that everybody yearns for home and many of the people abroad actually run the country down because they miss South Africa so much. Mm. Um, the, it's, it's about the jobs. Where are those high-level careers that I can, even if I'm a pale male, can I come home to and actually take part in? Um, but the pull of friends and family and having your children running barefoot on the lawn with grannies and grandpas close by, having the opportunity to be in the weather, not be indoors for eight months of the year all freezing cold, they are very real yeah. um, pull factors that eventually after year of maybe the seven-year itch we find yeah. is when people do want to return home. So how real is it that, as you say, the pale male worries that he won't find a job if he comes back to South Africa? It's a perception and it's a worry. It's actually not true. When you look at BE, is it really a big problem? The perception is that it is, but in fact you'll find a lot of your pale males are really thriving in our economy. I mean, what we would recommend from a government point of view is that there is some easing on entrepreneurial red tape for some of these people to come home and actually open businesses and create jobs. And we would also encourage um, foreign spouses being able to get a work visa um, and the opportunity for employers specifically. So we know people are coming home because of the beautiful weather and, and friends and family. If you can give employees a sense of autonomy, if you can give them flexi time, and if you can really dial up that sense of purpose about how you have that well in South Africa, we really do believe and um, will make a difference. Um, and we are about to launch in combination with tomorrow, today, and homecoming revolution, we're about to launch a roadshow to corporates talking about this is a South African roller coaster. There are highs, there are lows, there are pros, there are cons, mm. and really letting people understand actually the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side after all. Yeah, so you've told me what we can do to actually bring people back, mm. but how do we get this message across to everyone who's left that it is better in South Africa and this is why you should? So we do a lot of storytelling on our website, warts and all about the pros and cons, and we don't lie about it either but I think the main thing is that it's a very personal reason about returning home or not and you cannot make there's a one-size-fits-all about why people are coming or going apart from advertising all those wonderful stories of people who've returned and why it really makes a difference I think the, it, it, the economy currently is sluggish and mm. you know there is that concern is am I, is my career really going to grow here and will there be an a, economy that can look after my children yeah. so I think you know they all play into each other I think a big communication driver we could work hand in hand with the government and really to far more roadshows internationally would also be a great help. All right, thank you so much for your time and your insight. We do appreciate it. Thank you.